I want to say at the outset that I'm not going to be voting for you. I'm going to be voting in the Democratic primary in order to defeat the senator from New York, uh, who, who I refer to as a Joe Lieberman Democrat. Um, I, uh, I have, uh, I've listened to Hillary Clinton say probably a hundred times that she will end the war, and I've heard you say that we can't leave Iraq. In both cases, I think the, the devil is in the details. Um, I, have, uh, I looked at your website, I read everything on your website today, and I couldn't find any answers to my questions. What I would like to know is, I, I've heard you say a million times all the reasons why we can't leave Iraq, but I've never heard you say what it is you hope to accomplish in Iraq and how long it's going to take. So if you could please address that, that in terms of specifics, I'd appreciate it. Yes, sir, and thank you for coming tonight, and thank you for your frankness and candor. Um, may I just say that um, this is the, count, the classic counterinsurgency we're engaged in right now. This is not a new strategy. Uh, General Petraeus has updated it. But the fact is it's a classic counterinsurgency. And you get areas under a secure environment, and that secure environment then allows the economic, political, and social process to move forward. In case you missed it, New Year's Eve, people are out in the streets in Baghdad by the thousands for the first time in years. That's because we provided them with a safe and secure environment. Is it totally safe? No. I talked earlier about the suicide bombs and the continued threats. Uh, uh, but, and then what happens is American troops withdraw, and they withdraw to bases, and then they eventually withdraw. Or we reach an arrangement like we have with South Korea, with Japan. We have, still have troops in Bosnia. But the fact is it's American casualties that the American people care about. And Three those today. casualties are on the way down rather dramatically. And, uh, and the option, and I'll say this again because you've got to consider the option. If we had withdrawn six months ago, I'd look you in the eye and tell you I know that al-Qaeda would have, would have said we beat the United States of America. If we'd have gone with, well, along with Harry Reid and said the war was lost to al-Qaeda, then we would be fighting that battle all over the Middle East. And I am convinced of that, and so is General Petraeus as well as others. So I can tell you that it's going to be long and hard and tough. I can tell you the option of defeat is, is incredible and horrendous. And I can tell you and look you in the eye and tell you that this strategy is succeeding. And what we care about is not American presence. We care about American casualties. And those casualties, I believe, will be dramatically and continue to be reduced. Please follow up. Thank you. I do not believe that one U.S. soldier being killed almost every day is success. There were three U.S. soldiers killed today. I want to know how long are we going to be there? Are you... Are you how in, long, how are long you do you want us to be in South Korea? How long do you want us to be in Nobody Bosnia? Is, there's no Look, fighting going on in South Korea. The Let's fighting, talk I about guarantee South Korea. you. Let's come back to Iraq. Thank you, sir. No. And I can t look you in the eye and tell you that those casualties tragically continue, as I made very clear in my opening remarks. But they are much less, and they are dramatically reduced, and we will eventually eliminate them. And again, the option of setting a date for withdrawal is a date for surrender, and we will then have many more casualties and many more uh, Americans sacrificed if we uh, withdraw uh, uh, with, with a setting a date for surrender. Now, you and I have an honest and open disagreement, but I can tell you that six months ago that people like you who believe like you do said the surge would never succeed. It is succeeding, and I've been there, and I've seen it with my very own eyes. You want to you okay. follow up again? Yes, please. President Bush has talked about our please, staying... Please, please start over. I President can't. Bush has talked about our staying in Iraq for 50 years. Maybe 100. Is, uh, is that... How long? Is we've, that been in, we've been in South Korea. We've been in Japan for 60 years. We've been in South Korea for 50 years or so. That'd be fine with me so as, long as, Americans, as long as Americans are not being injured or harmed or wounded or killed. Then it's fine with me. I hope it would be fine with you if we maintain a presence in a very volatile part of the world where al-Qaeda is training, recruiting, and equipping and motivating people every single day. By the way, I, I forgot to say that uh, I, 
I hope that you kick Mitt Romney's butt back in Massachusetts <laughs> or Utah. I knew there was a reason I called on you. Wherever <laughs> he is. That man does not, cannot lie straight in bed. But I uh, want to go back <laughs> to Iraq. I want to go back to Iraq. Now, you know, 50 years, what if, what if U.S. soldiers are being killed at the same rate, one per day, oh, well, four can, years from now? Well, I can't tell you the, the ratio or what it is, but I can tell you I understand American public opinion, sir. And Americans, and me, yes, ma'am, and, and so I understand what's at stake here. That's why, uh, and I understand that American public opinion will not sustain a conflict where Americans continue to be sacrificed without showing them that we can succeed. So what can I, I hear is an open-ended commitment. That's my, my last I have open -ended quote. Commitment? I have a quote, open-ended commitment in Asia. I have an open-ended commitment in South Korea. I have an open-ended commitment in Bosnia. I have an open-ended commitment in Europe. I have an open-ended commitment every, everywhere Thank you for going on in Europe. Thank you. Thank you, sir, and thank you for this exchange because, yes, ma'am, thank you. God bless. This kind of dialogue has to take place in America today, and I thank you for expressing your views, and I appreciate it.